Shopify did me real dirty and I'm about to show you exactly what I mean. But before I do, first things first, this isn't anything negative about Shopify, even though I just said that they did me pretty dirty. There's no, you know, hard feelings or animosity. It is what it is. And I get it back in 2016, 2017, they were riding their high horse, but as I predicted, they don't have a moat around their company. So now we see that they're not, you know, kind of doing well. So before I go ahead and start this, what I want to let everybody know is it's very interesting how you can actually make money with courses without ever having to charge for a course. As a matter of fact, I was able to make well over a million dollars in about two, uh, two weeks or so, two and a half weeks by actually giving away free courses. But how did I do it? It's going to be really interesting to watch and I'm going to break down the funnel. I'm even going to show you everything. I'm going to show you the statistics. I want to show you and give you uh, the funnel itself, how it worked, what I did, all of that. And I hope this helps somebody out there watching it. And why am I doing this? Uh, I have this new philosophy for 2023 that I just want to share as much valuable information as I possibly can this year um, and just give back. And I wish somebody was there when I first got started almost 10 years ago, uh, well, 10 years ago, showing me information like this. So first thing is first, I'm going to hide this information or this user because he used to work for Shopify. And well, he's the one who basically said, yeah, the higher ups want to give you the boot. So this basically started with why am I getting kicked out as an affiliate? And long story short, they gave me this runaround where they didn't want people selling lifestyle content. But then I went in and said, what about Ty Lopez? So again, there's a reason why they wanted me off is because of the lawsuit that I was involved with. So that's the real reason they wanted me off. But before then, I'll tell you exactly how I made so much money, but just to give you the background story, why I never ran with this um, further is because I couldn't, nor did I care. I actually gave the funnel to Scott Hills and uh, I was talking to Seb about it and showed him all the stats that you're about to see as well. I said, why did I get kicked as an affiliate? Trying to figure out what went wrong. One of the high up affiliate managers says, I'm trying to understand what's going on. Long story short, they said they don't want any get rich lifestyle content anymore. It's a big thing. So they said to change stuff, I change stuff. He said, well, it means they don't want any cars when promoting. Okay, well, dang, that, that stinks. I see so many people doing that already. So I got a list of a bunch of things. As an example, they said, hey, in this video, the one where I said how I bought a Lamborghini by 22, I had a link to my Shopify referral in the description and they were like, yeah, we don't, we don't want that. This content is not what we want to associate with. Again, just the irony because of what's out there now, right? So. Again, I said, okay, I'll start removing stuff. And then they told me, you have to start taking down the videos that are like that. And then I say, the problem with taking down the videos is that it ruins the audience I built for AdWords. The reply was your choice, like what? So then it's, so I think your decision is about getting into Shopify's good graces or not. So then I brought up, cause Ty Lopez at the time was, he was the biggest thing. And he was promoting Shopify very heavily as well. And then I get a, again, it's just one video. As they said, it's the overall tone of the person. Again, they're saying, yeah, we don't want you. Again, saying you're one of the bigger guys at the top, so you can't go that aggressive. But at this point, it was me, Fred Lamb, Adrian Morrison, uh, and just a few other individuals. But again, I could see their point. And then I decided, you know what? I won't be a part of the partner program. I'm gonna bow out, because I'm not going to change what I'm doing in order to appease a company that other people are doing the same exact content for, but I'm the one getting penalized for it. I was like, I don't, I don't really care. And that was a big income stream that was taken away, unfortunately. However, now which brings me back to how I ended up making a lot of money between Shopify and what I constructed. For those of you that have been around long enough, you guys know that I had what I called my 90 day e-commerce challenge. Now what this was, let me show you, and then I'll dive into the statistics was this. I said, Hey, Guys, go ahead and sign up for a free 90 day e-com challenge. It's completely free. It's a course, 90 days you'll learn this, et cetera, et cetera. So people would sign up, but the thank you page, what would happen here, but once they opted in, it would tell them, hey, in order to get access to this course, you would need to sign up to Shopify, a free trial account, where I actually partnered with a few buddies, cycled their affiliate links. Some of them were actually even getting CPAs, which is very interesting, because I know a few people now, the people at the top, the reason why they're doing these free courses and whatnot is because they're actually getting paid a flat rate of anywhere from like 150 to 250 for somebody signing up. It's not 30% of how much they're spending on their membership. Rather, it's a flat rate. 
and I was able to kind of finesse something like this a while ago. So a long while ago, again, through not me. So I was getting paid up front for a trial, somebody who went ahead and signed up to Shopify. And if they went through their trial and then upgraded their account, it would be a, I think it was like 175 bucks, something like that. Um, after the split with the individual that I was dealing with. Uh, and also I have Sendlane and Jimmy is, Jimmy who owns Sendlane is a very good friend and he wanted users, specifically e-commerce users that stuck, that were good users. So he just did a round of funding and he raised multiple millions and he got approval to essentially work out a deal with me. I worked out, you know, I said, hey, Jimmy, is there some possible way that I could incorporate inside of the 90 day trial and maybe I get a CPA, whatever it is, it would be great. Just if they sign up on a free trial, uh, no credit card needed, I think it was, um, et cetera. So he agreed, we worked out a deal. Again, this was also uh, beneficial on who you know. So between these two, I was getting over $200 for people signing up to two free things. So right there, that's $200 that I would make just for them signing up to two specific uh, softwares. Now, here's the thing, people saying, well, I can't do this. Well, actually you can. And this is something very interesting. And I'll tell you how we made even more money where the big money came in. But um, before I do that, a lot of people don't realize is that companies that get funded, you can find them on TechCrunch, et cetera. And what do they need? They need to grow. They need to spend their money to acquire more customers. If you have an audience, if you have some sort of the funnel, email list, whatever, you can actually approach them like companies on Product Hunt or if you look on TechCrunch, you can see how much money they've raised. You could send them an email and say, hey, I have this, this and that. I would love to go ahead and work with you on an affiliate basis, on a free trial affiliate basis or a CPA basis capped. What that means is you could say to them, hey, I'll send you a thousand free trial users, but each user I want $15 for. Whether or not they sign up with, for the paid plan is not your fault. You should provide good quality users that do like the service. But again, if they don't, it's not necessarily your fault, but you still get that 15,000. A lot of people don't know this, it's CPA. And a lot of these fresh tech companies that are funded need uh, customers. So again, take a look at something like uh, Morning Brew or these app companies or <laughs> ironically FTX that just, they didn't even pay on a CPA basis. They just blew money away, but there's uh, companies that pay on a CPA basis. And if they don't, every single affiliate program in the world, you can broker a CPA, which again, is just a cost per acquisition. People don't know this, but that's like a little secret that you can go ahead and do. And then you get paid for them taking an action, uh, signing up to a free account and you get paid for that. So again, it can range from like 50, to 50 bucks to like 200 bucks, 300 bucks, depending on what the user value is. And if the company that's getting funded, like if Clavio got a hundred million and they needed X amount of new customers in X time period for their investors, you can leverage that and say, Hey, I have this, uh, you know, this friend, or I have this channel. I have a way to run paid traffic. Cause listen, if you're able to get uh, Clavio to give you a hundred dollars for every free sign up, and they're the ones that need to make sure that user converts, you can run paid traffic to like a little uh, bridge page or opt in and then tell people, I'm going to give you a free course. If you sign up to Clavio, I'll even teach you how to use it. Yet you're getting a hundred dollars. You're getting the leads. And believe me, it's a heck of a lot easier to get people to sign up to something for free and you get paid, you win. So that's how I was able to just make so much off of this. And let me just show you uh, really quickly. Um, let me see if I go to contacts on this funnel, cause I ran two different funnels. Uh, the same funnels. If I go to all time, scroll down, you could see down here, this one put 11,283 people in and this one, um, let me see how many people went through this one. And then this one, I put another 1,527 people through and long story short is so, so many people were taking up the free trials and whatnot. I got paid very, very hefty. Um, very, very hefty, but the money, the big profit was not made on the free trial. That was my loss leader, even though I was profitable, that would be my loss leader on paid ads. It crushed on paid ads as well. So I was able to spend up to $200 for an opt-in that went ahead and signed up to both of these uh, tools that we were gonna use. You need Shopify to learn Shopify on a free Shopify training. And Sendlane, I said, hey, you need an email autoresponder to follow up. It made sense. I got paid for them to sign up, etc. So where did the money come from? Well, this is where 
the brain child of mine came in. So you can see over here in the automations when I ran it, 2018 or so, right? So uh, yeah, this is the right sound lane. So I had uh, 18,000 emails sent over here with the pre-content, one to seven, et cetera. So as people went through all these weeks, it was a video every other day, how to set up, what to do, et cetera. So as we were going through each and every video, they would need a theme. They would need some apps. Maybe they would need some third-party application. And guess what? If it was useful and they actually could get use out of it and increase their ROI, well, guess what? A lot of these uh, different themes that I would recommend or, uh, or apps or different type of third-party applications, they had affiliate programs. So every other video, I was practically making affiliate commissions all the way down. So I was getting paid on the front, collecting the emails that I can use for what I did at the very end, and then I was getting affiliate commissions on these videos where I was saying, hey, get this theme. I also use the theme. I forgot exactly what theme it was, but everybody was using it at the time, and they were buying it like crazy. I actually think it was booster theme. I forgot exactly what theme it was. So again, I was going ahead and just promoting all these and using them as well inside the training to help individuals. So the whole thing here is, that we were making money all the way through, and then towards the very end, because it was a video every other day, so if, you know, if I created a video every other day for 45 days, that's 90 days. But by the time we got to day 60 or so, I started to put out offers out there for 100K Blueprint. At the time, 100K Blueprint was $997. But I said, hey, you guys are on day like 48 or 50, whatever it was. I wanna offer you for an exclusive time, rather than paying 997, you can pay 497 or uh, I think it was actually uh, 3972 payments or 797. I forgot exactly what it was, but it was a discount and it would disappear at the very end. So as they go through the pages, it'd be like five days left, four days left, three days left, right? So it's the scarcity angle. So I made a lot of money off of the course as well. So they bought the course and I said, hey, you want more, you want higher level training, here's a course. So that's where that paid course came into play. And then I had the email list that I grew, you know, uh, over like, 13,000, 14,000 people. So I marketed to them over time as well. And that's how this funnel was essentially crafted and created. So here, just to reinforce this as well, you can see that I was getting commissions from uh, Shoptimized, which is exactly what uh, I was promoting. And uh, this was multiple different things at the time. So you can see $50 from here because I was recommending what I was also using. So not only was I getting commissions, I was getting leads, et cetera. So each free lead ended up being roughly $184 or so in totality. At the end of it all, with roughly 11,000 subscribers, a little bit more, but roughly 11,000. So if you know how to do math, you can imagine the exact revenue that was pulled through for a free course. So this is just some sauce. If you guys enjoy it, let me know. Smash the thanks button. If you're enjoying the latest content that I'm putting out, kind of giving you insights, stuff you don't know, stuff that might help you. Maybe uh, subscribe, share, whatever it is. Other than that, I'm actually going to share this funnel. If you have ClickFunnels, make sure it's ClickFunnels Classic. I'm gonna give you the share funnel. It'll be in the description down below. You can have it, just take it um, and, and run it for yourself. You can do this with any, any niche. Just go out there and reach out to a bunch of affiliate programs and ask them for a CPA, but make sure obviously you can get leads in there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, um, bye guys, see ya.